Minister, Kenya, like Somalia, is grateful for the diligence and skill with which he handled his heavy responsibilities as Prime Minister. And we welcome him to Kenya, not only as a new president, but an old friend. And one proof of this is the celebration that broke out here in Kenya on the announcement of his election results. He visits here today to give our joint agenda a fresh start. That agenda is very clear. On a bilateral level, we have agreed to revitalize our engagement in all areas of mutual interest within the context of a reactivated Joint Commission of Cooperation. In particular, we agreed to take the following actions. Within the shortest possible time, open two border posts in Doble Liboy and Mandera Bulahawa, and to facilitate the movement of people, goods, and services. So ladies and gentlemen, when people are talking about us putting up a wall, here we are opening borders. Kenya, Kenya committed to train within our institutions and at government cost 200 teachers, 200 nurses, and 100 Somali administrators. Indeed, to support the enhancement of technical skills necessary for rehabilitation upon return of the refugees, Kenya will establish a technical training institute for youth currently in the refugee camps as well as the environs of Dadaab. And this, I believe, will greatly help in providing these young men and women the necessary skills that they will require to develop and grow Somalia. We've also directed the security teams from both countries to meet immediately and agree on modalities of relaunching direct flights between Nairobi and Mogadishu and this is to happen with the first flight being within two weeks. We agreed also that forthwith there will be no visa requirement for diplomatic and service passport holders from both countries. We also agreed to meet regularly to monitor the progress of our bilateral relations. This region and this continent are rising together and we are coming closer and closer to the freedom, the security and the prosperity that our people deserve. But we will achieve that freedom, that prosperity and that security only if we lift each other up. None of us can do it on our own. We will either rise together or fall separately. If Somalia prospers, so too does Kenya. If Somalia is peaceful, so too is Kenya. It is therefore upon us to do all we can to help each other secure these goods for our people. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how we will lift each other. And that, ladies and gentlemen, has been the focus of our talks. I don't have to tell you but a country, many of whose people have been displaced, is a country still at risk of unrest or worse. Again, we all know the strength, the enterprise, and the optimism of Somalia's people. As neighbors, ours is to stand with them and with their country. And that is why we have discussed deeply with President Mohammed convinced that we can work together to rebuild their nation and secure our joint prosperity. We 
will also tomorrow continue with our discussions as we continue with the EGAD special summit on durable solutions for Somalia refugees, which is indeed it is our pleasure to host. With those few remarks, let me also add just a little point there that Al Shabaab remains ready and continues to kill many Somalis, many Kenyans, and we have agreed that we must continue our fight against these evil criminals until they are no longer a threat. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, I can only say that the discussions that we have had with my brother have been excellent and I strongly, strongly believe that we have set a reset button and that if we continue in the manner that we have started today, I have no doubt we shall be able to achieve great things for our two countries. So finally, Mr. President, let me welcome you to make a few remarks to these good people here. Karibu San. Thank you, Mr. President. Let me begin by thanking you and the great people of Kenya for hosting us and providing us with outstanding hospitality and reception. It's indeed a pleasure for me to be here today, Mr. President. Today is a new day. We discussed how our two brethren countries can work together to grow and prosper together. Kenya is one of the Somali's strongest ally and partners in East Africa, from hosting the largest number of Somali refugees for decades and contributing the peace building and stability in Somalia through AMSOM. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Kenyan government and the Kenyan people to the sacrifices they have made to help Somalia. Cooperation between our two great nations is necessary to combat the challenges we face, including terrorism and poverty. This state visit is a continuation of close cooperation between our two countries in security, investment, and trade. Close economic cooperation between Somalia and Kenya will, only, will not only help to improve the lives of our millions of people, but also it will also enhance the security situation in East Africa. Therefore, my government is ready to work very closely with your government in the realization of full economic cooperation between our two nations. Mr. President, when it comes to trade, I believe that the answer is not only to remove barriers to trade, but it also to do trade right, making sure that it has strong labor standards, strong environmental standards that address ways in which the rights of the ordinary people of both countries are protected. Your Excellence, our cooperation is, in, is indeed critical to our historic relationship <clears throat> and our continuous effort to fight against the insecurity and poverty. I wanted to thank you for making the flights from Mogadishu to Nairobi. Starting in two weeks, we will welcome that and we really appreciate and that shows that we have a new beginning of both countries to enhance the development of trade and economic growth. And I thank you for, for your hospitality. 